Google is bringing our fiber to the home and project to Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City, Missouri in the first half of 2012. That's when we will light up the first neighborhood. It is going to bring internet connection speeds that are about 100 times faster than what people currently have in their homes. So we're really excited to see what this means for the residents, for the neighborhoods, and even as big as the entrepreneurship for Kansas City. And it will um, uh, create a real opportunity for Kansas Cityans to be on the cutting edge of technology and to attract business and to uh, allow us to better educate our people, uh, help in health care, and so many other areas that we haven't even thought of. But uh, we are looking at deployment in the first half of 2012, and at that time we'll be able to communicate how people can sign up for the product and how neighborhoods together can help mobilize to express demand that Google come and bring fiber to their houses. Well, I'll give you, I'll give you a couple of areas. One, one is uh, certainly uh, startup companies that want to figure out how to use the high-speed fiber and how to write programs for it and applications for it. And we've already seen uh, some of those companies uh, either moving to Kansas City or checking out Kansas City as their new place to look at. Um, the other um, advantage is, uh, is in the area of data centers. Uh, Kansas City is very competitive in terms of uh, being a, a data center. We, we hear about putting things in the cloud. Well, the cloud could be Kansas City. Well, I just I have a great interest in the education piece on this, and uh, I think that it has tremendous potential in what we can do with our citizens, young people and older people alike, and just getting really highly educated and getting more, uh, more in contact with the world. Uh, they're going to have a lot of opportunities to this Google Fiber to, to touch the world in a lot of different ways, and I think in education it's going to be a great, great opportunity. With economic development, uh, frankly, we're pretty excited already about some of the things that we see happening. Uh, there are a number of projects that have started around the area. There are groups that are meeting uh, periodically to talk about uh, economic development and how this can move forward. So there's a lot of work being done, like Mike said. There's a lot of work to still be done, and uh, exciting time we're ahead. Mike and Ray are very special people. Both have deep roots in the community, and both are very passionate about this community. I have seen each of them deal with very tough questions, and they are so optimistic, and also very honest and real to work with. It's a really strong partnership there. I think that we couldn't have asked for two better representatives to lead this committee forward. We, we certainly do, and I think uh, what people need to think about is how their business or industry can profit by having a, a, a faster connection to the world, and I think there are certain industries that we've already identified, um, healthcare in particular, education, um, that can benefit greatly. Uh, by having the high-speed fiber. There are a few good ways to get involved. Uh, one is the Mayor's by State Innovation Team. You can attend those meetings and they seek input regularly from the community, whether it's about health care, about education, about arts and culture, neighborhoods. So look for those opportunities to attend meetings and share your concerns, your questions, your great ideas. Another way is through the social media clubs give us a gig initiative. They're going to reach out to the neighborhoods and help educate people on why connectivity is important, what it could mean for us. And uh, from the Google level, please sign up on our website at google.com slash fiber and stay tuned to when we make our announcements that we're coming Kansas City, we're ready to connect your home and uh, launch a wonderful product. Well, we think one of the positive things that's coming out of this is the fact that these two mayors came together 
and decide to bring these two communi communities together, these two cities together on this project. And it's going to be extremely important how that takes place, but hoping that that becomes a model for other cities to use in the future that have two communities to work together. I think it's working really well. Uh, our committee is working well. We have six members from each that was appointed to each mayor. Uh, we had a number of meetings now, and the committees are starting to uh, go out and look at, uh, get gather information from people. So at this point, we think the, uh, the, the bi-state initiative has worked real well. But again, uh, we'll see what happens in the future and how, how well it looks out. Well, this, this can also be a template for how the two cities can cooperate on other issues. Um, our, our market is the world. It, it's not, not competing across state line. It's, it's competing around the globe. Uh, certainly uh, across the country. We're blessed with two mayors who are great salespeople. They know their cities. They can get out on the road and tell the Kansas City story across the country, and it's a great story. There is such great energy in Kansas City around this whole Google Fiber issue. Uh, there are no less than a dozen different committees, groups that are brainstorming. Attending some of these brainstorming sessions is, is just fascinating because the ideas that are coming out are next generation ideas and it puts Kansas City at the cutting edge. That's where we should be. Yeah, I would agree with Mike on that. I think that uh, it really does put us in a position of, of taking Kansas City to really the next level. And just seeing the energy uh, going on around the community now, people coming together, starting to talk about how Google, this high-speed fiber, can really enhance every part of a, of a community, every aspect of the community. Uh, I think that's really exciting for the future, and it's exciting to be a part of that as we move forward. I'm a downtowner. Come see us. And uh, I, I'm proud to live downtown, play downtown, and work downtown. And I think this connectivity, when it comes to Kansas City, is going to impact us, so, impact us in many ways, whether it's in business, it's in our lifestyle and entertainment options, even the way we communicate with people you know, across the desk or across the world. This uh, energy of a group like the downtowners is what we need to keep thinking about how Kansas City can make the most of Google Fiber.